Hello again and welcome to the fifth lesson in learning to program using Scratch. In this lesson we're going to be looking at something called concatenation. Now, that's a very long word for something that we've already looked at to some extent. Uh, concatenation is a difficult word and the way that I get a lot of my students to think about remembering it is to imagine a country populated by criminal kittens. So think of a whole country and nothing but kittens and they're all criminals all right con cat a nation so if you can remember that uh, and if you're groaning great that probably helps remember it uh, concatenation what does it mean it means joining together so joining stuff together which we've kind of already done in our program so in the program we've been looking at over the last few lessons uh, we can see that we've got join here as a word we've been using in this case we're joining together the word hello and then whatever information the user has inputted and that we've stored in the variable name uh, by the way, if you're not sure about this because you've picked up on this uh, video on YouTube and you're thinking, what do you mean previous video? This is one of a series of videos. There's a playlist on YouTube. Um, so you might want to go back and look through those. If you're on the computerscience.click website, then you're already working through those lessons heading towards your certificate. Um, the second time we use join here is join the word, uh, the variable color. So whatever the color is that they entered was their favorite with the words is my favorite too. So this joining together of variables or joining together strings. Remember strings are simply words. The computer doesn't really bother what they are. It's just squiggly symbols as far as it's concerned. In our case, it's, it's words and letters. So it's joining together variables or joining together strings or joining together variables and strings. And that is concatenation, joining together. That's really all it is. Um, but what I'm gonna do in this video is something which I'd like you to have a go at, as I always do with these videos, have a go at doing these things yourself, but you'll probably uh, get it wrong the first time and you might well start screaming at it and, and getting frustrated, bear with me. Um, it's something that looks complicated and if you want to really impress someone who's not ever done programming before, the line of code we're gonna come up with will look very, very impressive for them but it does something fairly straightforward really. Uh, what I want to do, uh, first of all, I'm gonna just click this button up here, the first of these three buttons, just to make the preview area a little bit smaller so we've got a bit more room for our code. And what I want to do is to combine these two things here. So rather than saying hello and their name for two seconds, and then saying whatever your color is, is my favorite too for two seconds. I want to say all of that together in one sentence. Now, when we're doing something as complicated as this, it can be helpful to put what we call a comment in there, which uh, is a little note that we can look at um, and will help us to understand what we're trying to do. So I'm going to right click on this uh, purple block here at the bottom and I'm going to click add comment and that just adds a little kind of a post-it note. Uh, we can uh, close that up and open it later on and this can explain what a particular line of code is doing or what a particular section of our code is doing. Uh, here what I want to do is to write out the kind of sentence that I'm trying to build. So in this case I want something along the lines of hello Justin, assuming the name is Justin, um, then a comma and a space, and then whatever their favorite color is, let's say I inputted green, is my favorite color too. And a full stop. So that is the sentence that I want to try to create. So it's basically what's in these two purple boxes here, but done in one purple box instead. And having that little comment in there, having that example sentence is a helpful way for us to work out which part of this sentence is gonna be a variable. So obviously we have two variables, it'll be their name and their favorite color. And which parts of this sentence are the words we're gonna to have to type in in our code. And then we can also see the order of them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab one of the uh, say boxes from the looks section 
and I'm going to drop that in there and then I'm going to grab the join or concatenation block uh, here. I'm going to pop that down at the bottom to begin with. And I'm also going to be needing a couple of variables, so I'll grab those as well. That's the name variable and the color variable. And there we go. So these are the parts that we will need in order to concatenate our text or our strings with our variables. So the first thing we need, if we look at this little comment here, is the word hello, and then of course a space just after it. So let's put that in the left hand box, hello, and a space just after it. Now, the next thing that comes in is the variable name, whatever their name is. So I can drop that in the second box, but we have a problem, don't we? The problem is that I've got no other little white oval spaces in this join box for the next part, which is going to be the comma and then the color and then the words is my favorite color too. So how can we make that join box longer with more of those spaces in it so we can join lots of things together? The answer is we can't. But what we can do is we can join join boxes together. So have a look at that. I'm going to grab another one of these join boxes and put it there. So what do I want to join? Well, I want to join whatever is in this box with the next part of my sentence. So in this new join box, I'm going to drop in on the left hand side, whatever we've got so far. So I'm now hello, then their name. And then what do I want? Well, if I look at my comment, I can see it's a comma and a space. So let's type in there a comma and a space. And again, I've run out of little white sections to put the next bit of my sentence in. So I have to get another join box, grab everything I've done so far and put it in the left hand side. There we go. And in the right hand side, we have banana still for some reason, whatever comes next in our sentence. Let's look at our comment and see where we're up to. And perhaps at this point, you can see how having a comment to keep looking at is really helpful in working out what comes next. And what comes next is the color, which of course we've stored in the color variable. So let's grab this color variable and drop that in there. Now, are we done? Not quite. There's one more thing we need, and those are these words here, my favorite color too. So we need one more white oval in a drop box, in a join box. Let's grab another one, drag this over here. There we are. So everything I've done so far needs to go in the left hand box there, like that, where the apple was. And in the right hand box, um, I can simply copy and paste those words and put them in there like that. There we are. Let's close up that comment, first of all. Um, so we've now got join, 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 join. Hello, then their name, then a comma and a space, then their favorite color, and then the words is my favorite color too. Now all of that, don't forget that's concatenation, that country of criminal kittens. All of that needs to go in this hello section where we're outputting those words. So that there, a very long line of code as you can see, is basically doing everything these two blocks here were doing. So let's get rid of these two blocks. Let's get rid of those completely. There we are. And bring this one up underneath where we had it before, like that. So let me just zoom out one more time so we can see the whole thing in one go. So there we are, we have concatenated a string, a variable, a string, a variable, and a string. Let's just increase the number of seconds we have this now to say five seconds so we can see this for a little bit longer. And let's run this program. So I'm gonna go full screen for this one and I'm going to run it. And she says, hello. 
Then she asks, what's my name? So let's type, let's type a different name in there. Let's go for uh, Jack. There we are. Uh, what is your favorite color? Let's go for blue. Hello, Jack. Blue is my favorite color too. And that lasts for five seconds. Uh, let's run that again. So let's do this. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Becky. What is your favorite color? Let's say purple. I'm not going to put a capital this time because I think it'll look better in the sentence. Press enter. Hello, Becky. Purple is my favorite color too. So you can see that we have concatenated or joined together uh, the strings and the variables. And we can see that we have four of these join boxes and you could just go and grab a join box and then another one and drop it inside and another one and drop it inside and another one and drop it inside and then put all the different bits in there. That would work fine. Um, but when you do it that way, obviously you've got to think about the number of different parts you want to connect together. Uh, so perhaps you might find it helpful to use a comment, maybe try adding a comment into your code. Remember, just right click on a block and add comment um, and then use that comment to build up your sentence one string or variable at a time. So I'd like you to have a little go at doing that now. So try building up your own sentence like that. Um, try and do it the same as mine, but without looking at my code uh, to see if you can work out how to build it up yourself. If you don't quite make it, then have another look at this. Uh, work back through the, the last few minutes uh, and try and have another go at doing it. And if you have success, you might want to do a more complicated one. So you might, for example, uh, want to have a sentence that says, uh, hello, Justin, uh, my favorite color is green as well. Um, and what are you doing today? And, and then have the, the result of that. So you could ask them what their favorite number is perhaps as well. Uh, so you could say, uh, you know, hello, Justin, green is my favorite color and my favorite number is not 27. Uh, so you could have a longer sentence perhaps uh, done as well. So remember the join block that we're using in programming language is called concatenation. Just think of those kittens. If you're on the computerscience.click website, then the next thing in this uh, tutorial will be a quiz. Uh, once you've completed that quiz and you've managed to pass it, then you'll be on to the next section where we we'll look at some more complex uh, parts of programming and combining a few bits and pieces together. Uh, including working with numbers for the first time. If you're on the uh, YouTube site, uh, then obviously you can just carry on working through these videos. They're all in the playlist. But if you did want a certificate, then maybe head over uh, to computerscience.click. Either way, uh, I wish you luck and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.